Hey everybody, it's Drew Sims here and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to show you guys a few mods that like aren't really connected but are just mods that I enjoy and I think are really cool. As always, I'll have them all linked down below. I do want to preface, be really wary about downloading mods. There have been some malware issues. All of the ones that I'm showing off, I have checked and I'm pretty sure they are completely safe. And also, the game is just so buggy right now. Just be really wary of downloading any new mods. You don't want to break your game and lose a really important save. Just keep those things in mind when you are considering new mods to download. With that said, let's jump into the first mod. So this is Flickbuster by Lot51. It is based off of Blockbuster and it's basically a DVD player and video rental mod. Keep in mind that you do need the movie hangout stuff pack to actually watch the movies, but otherwise they are base game compatible decor items if you want to just like spice up your builds a little bit. You can get a DVD player and then you also have to rent movies through the mail or you can place down this blue express box you can also become a bootlegger and create bootleg discs that you can sell you can sell it at a retail store or craft table i love that there's so many storyline ideas i can think of if you don't have the pack you can just use it for decor you can also put it in your inventory if you're going on vacation so hopping into build mode real quick i'm gonna go ahead and type flick i assume flickbuster stuff will show up yes yeah. so we have the flick buster box over here and then we also have the dvd player i'm gonna go ahead and place it actually you know what it fits so well right here on the fireplace here are the rental dvds so i guess we can buy a few of these and burn they have a bunch of colorful swatches which i really love but basically like i said these can either be clutter so you can just place them around or you can also just like bootleg movies so i'm gonna try to do that we need a membership card all right corey come over here and grab yourself a membership card so we can get a flickbuster membership card for 35 simoleons let's go ahead and grab that now we can browse and we can rent movie let's do both i want to see what browsing looks like he kind of just like looked at the <laughs> machine he didn't do much um when he browsed it but now when we rent we'll be charged one simoleon per rental how about we get how about we get moonlight massacre 3 we're not getting any moodlets by the way now he does have it in his inventory first of all okay so we can drag this dvd player into our inventory now so it says no disc inserted so drag a dvd onto the dvd player now that we have this let's see we can go ahead and drag it so we just dragged it and as you guys can see that's empty now and now we can play current dvd guys this is just so fun. This is so fun to me. I love little realistic touches like this. And now we are watching the DVD. I don't know if it told us how long we will have the item. Okay, now that we have actually played around with watching it, I want to go ahead and actually try and create a bootleg. We can purchase a membership card and rent movies directly from the DVD player. And we can also do it from the computer. So if we come up to Corey's computer, we can go ahead and burn bootleg DVD. So we'd have to choose disc because we have this pink disc in our inventory. It's gonna let us and now we can choose content Oh, so we don't even have to do it like the exact one that we have. That's interesting So maybe we're like burning the bootleg DVD straight from the internet or something I don't I assumed it would have to be what we have in our inventory feeling nostalgic from using DVD player Corey enjoys the feel of using old technology. He doesn't have any new moodlets after burning that but now we do have this outstanding burn disc and we can list it on Plopsy now. What if we try to burn something that we don't have in our inventory? So let's try and burn a different movie. Oh, we can also burn over an existing bootleg video. But let's do it on a new DVD and let's try... Um, cinder because we don't have cinder like we didn't rent it i love the interaction of actually burning it and he keeps getting little thought bubbles about like movies and also like police cars because it is illegal it is still an outstanding quality and it's cinder so we were able to do it even without renting the video so i mean that would be a lot cheaper if you just bought like video discs and then bootleg stuff it seems like that's like a much cheaper option than actually renting it not that i'm like you know condoning that 
not but just you know fyi such a cool little touch of realism that i'm definitely gonna be using i'm literally like i'm keeping the dvd player in this house let's go ahead and check out the next mod so this is by ilkaval and it is a new after school activity and there are like a bunch of custom after school activities events that ilkaval has created they're really really cool i can do a video on some of my favorites if you guys want one but i really like this one in particular because i think it works really well for the current storylines that i'm playing out so basically there are two branches for journalist and photographer your sim will learn social and creative skills as children and charisma writing or photography if older and the last level of the career is actually an internship and you'll actually be earning money and something that's really cool is that if you do send your sims to university you can start a newspaper career for like the college newspaper there are some issues with the mod um that are known issues but i do really appreciate how ilkaval actually puts them here so that you're not like freaking out if some of this stuff happens to you so sometimes the interaction do an interview disappears from the queue and also when kids are writing articles at the computer they can get distracted i'm gonna go ahead and use oliver to try and join this after school activity so this is what it looks like are you good at writing or photography if yes that's great because your newspaper team is looking for volunteers go ahead and join and basically we have to submit an article or photo there is no daily task right now the high school pack added a few more after school activities that i appreciated but just the in-game ones just being scout and drama club like not it doesn't really fit all of my sims characters so i was definitely looking for some more and this is one that i think i'm really gonna enjoy the next one is kind of random and it does require the cottage living expansion pack it's called bird life this is also by lot 51 and it's it really just adds bird watching so this mod autonomously summons birds to your lot where they will perch fly and sing you can spot many types depending on region season and time of day and if you have the growing together expansion pack your sim can bird watch it will make your sims less tense or sad and can get your sims inspired certain sims will autonomously bird watch when the weather permits i really like this because i think it would be really cool to have my elder sims do it um or like go on a hike and do some bird watching i like that for storytelling purposes so i thought i would include it here i am gonna go ahead and have serena try and bird watch i don't know how this is going to work but it should oh yeah so it shows up right here in the menu when you click on your sim and she literally just pulls out binoculars <laughs> that's so cute since for rent is not required i wonder if the modder made this interaction completely by themselves because that's so impressive i love it so much and if you guys notice there was like a few thought bubbles that popped up with birds like this one i love this mod i'm like again for me it's more of an elder thing or like if we go hiking or something like that it would be something that i would probably whip out it's a really small addition but one that i really think i'm going to enjoy in my storytelling also if you guys notice she did have quite a few negative moodlets like tense moodlets that are completely gone because of her bird watching um and her fun is like all the way up as well so that's really really cool the next mod is also by lot 51 it is called ding and ditch smart doorbell and it is base game compatible enhanced with parenthood and eco lifestyle basically it is a way to not miss any visitors to your house it's literally just a doorbell that will give you a notification when different things happen so i think there are different modes if you set it on ring only you'll get a notification when someone rings your door doorbell you can set it on motion so receive notifications when motion is detected that's literally like a real life ring doorbell <laughs> face id so you can do intelligent notifications with sims name and photo when they're identified that's a little bit creepy i'm not gonna lie but i love that in the sims probably not in real life though you can do no notifications are received but you will have like the ring tones and they have added this cool thing called visual ring for deaf and hard of hearing simmers so if it's enabled any number of lamps in your home can be enabled to flash a red color three times whenever the doorbell button is 
pressed so very very cool you can also do upgrades and other aspects of the mod include there's a 50 percent chance of a sim being woken up if they're sleeping vampires are immune <laughs> um sims with the technophobe lifestyle from snowy escape will prefer knocking on the door with parenthood kids of all ages can make funny faces or wave at camera for special moments <laughs> which is so cute you can pull pranks like ding dong ditch or a ding dong ditch with gag bag which reminds me of the sims 3 if you guys remember i think in generations you could do stuff like that so in build mode i'm just gonna type in doorbell and it does pop up it's in the alarm category it's called ding and ditch smart doorbell this also comes with a bunch of different really nice colors i might just grab black because i think it fits best with the house and what we can do is go ahead and oh my god we can ding dong ditch <laughs> but if we do settings we can change the ringtone to classic or muted we can set the light color to white green or blue let's try blue oh my god stop it i know it's such a small thing but it's just like it looks so pretty and it's so cool universal access enable visual ring i'm gonna go ahead and do that just to see if maybe we can test it out i'm going to enable motion detection as well in terms of upgrades custom ringtones platinum or sorry plat platium button plum blue button switch change batteries with the recycled parts i think those are or change batteries with 12 dollars oh yeah we should do that because it's literally empty right now <laughs> we can wave at the camera make funny faces ding dong ditch and ding dong ditch with gag bag <gasps> look as soon as we walked onto the porch we got motion has been detected near ding and ditch smart doorbell oliver has rung the doorbell motion has been detected does anybody like autonomously go to the door is my question it looks like nobody autonomously went to like answer the door but it really is something that will just alert you if somebody is standing at your door i didn't really get i don't think i got any notifications from anyone else about the ding dong ditching but oliver thinks it's childish okay i'm so sorry i won't have him do that again <laughs> Let me have him wave at the camera. Oh my god. He ran all the way out here. Okay, hold up. I cannot. I'm not gonna have him run all the way back. <laughs> Let's go ahead and make funny faces and see what happens. I will say when the kid used it, he also was like pressing down here rather than the button. Serena, I want you to see like what we can do. What happens if we ding dong ditch? I want to see. She'll probably just like run away again, but... Oh my god, she's scared of getting caught. Girl, it's your own house, relax. But we did get Serena has rung the doorbell. And if you guys saw, like, her animation was actually on the bell, whereas the kid was um, down here. So just keep that in mind. That will be happening. Okay, you don't have to run away. It's all good. Let me see how to set the lights. I think all my lights are ceiling lights. Oh yeah, so if you click on it with this mod, you'll have universal access. Enable visual ring on this lamp. Okay. Oh my god, do you guys see that? How it's like flashing red? That actually scared the crap out of me. I'm not even gonna lie. But... <laughs> but that's really cool. Oh my god. Now this guy is ringing the doorbell. I heard it. And it flashed red. And we got a notification. I don't know if you guys heard it. If my game volume isn't loud enough. But such a cool mod. Such a cool addition. And I love the addition for any like hard of hearing simmers. I really like that addition as well. The next mod that I wanted to go over is called Functional Water Dispenser by Nerdy Doll. It's very like very simple. But I think it's really cool to place in community lots. You have different colors. And your sim can upgrade, grab water, repair. And ghosts can even possess it. So this is what it looks like. It's called water dispenser and when you drag it out, it literally looks like a very classic water dispenser. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to describe it. It has really simple swatches like whites, blacks, some blues. I'm just gonna do, um, let me do black and I just want to test it out. This is another really simple one. Like there's not much to it but I really like that animation of getting water from it way more than grabbing like a full glass of water. It's more realistic to me because who just has like glasses of water like that stocked in their fridge to grab whenever. Also, we just got a motion detection for cookie attacking. 
<laughs> this guy that's so funny so if we try and upgrade we can do self cleaning h2o siphoner sturdy faucets and water recycler so it's a really simple object but a nice little touch of realism the next mod i want to go over is actually a custom aspiration again by ilkavel and it is called simternet conqueror so i really really enjoyed the addition of the youtuber and streamer stuff but there's not like an in-game aspiration or anything to help kind of push a storyline along. I really like this particular aspiration for that purpose. And there are four different levels and you have to do a lot of different stuff around the social media career, um, streaming, editing videos. Like I think this is a really realistic aspiration that adds a lot to that aspect of the game. It does require city living and the Get Famous expansion for the career and also like the YouTuber stuff as well. It is in the popularity category and it is called Simternet Conqueror. <laughs> I love that there's a hashtag in front of it. The description is want to set trends and inspire others and what's more get money? Let's start reaching out with your profile and videos to the people who will hopefully watch them until the end. The reward trait is credible simfluencer. You get most services for free, receive two additional fame points, and sometimes get products for free from various companies to review. I love that addition. Like I said, there's four different levels. Excited newbie followers collector trendsetter and famous sim tube vlogger i think this is probably a very intensive aspiration some of the custom aspirations i've gone over in my other mod reviews are probably quicker like for example the elder aspirations were very quick ones this one like you need 30 million followers to complete the last level so this is like this is gonna take your sim a long time to do so just keep that in mind serena has been in the social media career and trying to get followers Followers for ages and she only has 5,283. 30 million is gonna take a very long time. <laughs> Just keep that in mind. This is probably not gonna be a quick aspiration, but I do think it's a really cool one to add a little bit more depth to that area of the game. The next mod I want to go over is also by Ilkavel and it is the University Rejection Letter mod. I'm not gonna be able to show this in game, but I have played with it before and I can like vouch for it working really, really well. So if you do have the university pack, you know that in both Brightchester and Foxbury, there are distinguished degrees and non-distinguished. If you don't make the distinguished degrees, you would still make the non-distinguished ones. With this mod, if things like your grades at school or your traits or your skills are not up to par, you will actually get rejected from university. So for example, with grades, getting an F or a D in high school would increase chances to get rejected. Um, certain traits would also increase chances of acceptance or rejection. Certain skill levels will also have a bigger chance to get accepted or rejected. And high school year traits or education overhaul mod traits like valedictorian, high honors, or if you finish from the better schools from a D indigo mod like if you guys remember in my latest current household video i was trying to have ainsley apply for one of the more elite schools that would probably help decrease the chances of her getting rejected from university there is nuance here keep in mind like even if you do have a high school f grade if your skills are higher you may not get rejected because grades aren't everything so i really like this mod do keep in mind if you are literally just starting a save and don't want to waste time getting skills up or sending your sim to high school or something and just want to send send them to university right off the bat take this mod out before you do it because if your sim has like literally just started the save and applies to university with this mod in they would probably get rejected so this for me is a really cool storyline thing the next mod is also by ilkavel and it is called call to drink this is just adding a way to call other sims to drink which i'm surprised there isn't one already but this adds one i'm gonna go ahead and test it out with the coffee maker over here or the kettle i guess actually i don't think it works with the kettle because the kettle is like a different type of object so let me actually grab one of the drink things i'm glad i tested that the way the kettle works is a little bit different than like the coffee maker and stuff like that because with the kettle even after you brew you have to like individually brew 
different things it's not like you brew a pot like you do with the coffee maker so let's go ahead and try with this let's restock the tray and now yeah now we can go ahead and call to get drinks which isn't an option before all our sims are coming to grab drinks this might have been a mistake because these are mimosas and these are my teenagers so don't drink that serena didn't grab a drink autonomously after that interaction which is interesting so after you call to get drinks you are going to have to grab a drink yourself as well in terms of storytelling purposes it's really nice to give your sims the ability to call other sims to a drink at a party or something like that so i just did it with the lux drink tray i'm pretty sure but you can do it with the summer drink tray from backyard stuff you can do it with the juice keg from university fountain from various packs coffee machine and the tea maker but like i tested i don't think you can do it with this object with the kettle the next mod i want to go over is also by lot 51 and it is called free range so this does require cottage living because it is all about the cows and llamas from the animal shed and basically this mod frees them up and lets them roam around just like the chickens and rabbits can you can also set invisible markers to designate your own shelter and a grazing area for grass feed to grow so during the day they'll go outside and feed on the grass and once the sun goes down they'll hang out together near the shelter marker this is the shelter marker as you guys can see and this would be the feed marker these are only going to show in build mode cows and llamas require the same care but they will start to make more of a mess and also what's funny is that your cows can be gassy and if you have ego lifestyle it can move your lot towards industrial footprint which is so realistic like that's literally what cows do in real life when it rains or during a full moon wild mushrooms will grow around around your grazing marker which is really cool and i have a feeling there might be some like space stuff ufo stuff going on because they did thank ravishing for creating a ufo object i have a feeling there might be some abduction of these animals going on but i'm not sure so let's go ahead and purchase an animal we'll just get a brown cow so once we go into actions we can allow to roam free so let me go ahead and do that keep in mind that is irreversible it is called a free range cow so we know for a fact it is free range um let me hop into build mode and see what i can do okay so this is what it looks like here's the shelter marker and this will be our safe space and this will be our grazing marker and keep in mind i think now we could delete this yeah and our cow will stay it's like completely separated now so what we can do is build our own shelter like this is literally just a placeholder guys i would build a much cuter animal shelter for my cow i promise so now we can place the shelter marker inside this building and the cow will like properly have shelter and as you guys can see our markers completely disappeared oh there you go so now it's inside and you can make like such a cute animal shelter shed type thing which we weren't able to have before like we could only have the regular one so this is a really really cool mod if you guys like playing with cottage living if you guys like playing with the farm animals oh he's such a cutie then this is a really really cool mod for you and last but not least i want to go over an expanded gym mod by zero and this is another like vanilla plus mod similar to the careers mod that i did a review on and basically what it does is it prevents entry to gyms until you pay to use the equipment and it basically adds gym membership system and a gym receptionist you also do not need get to work for this pack which i appreciate so i'm pretty sure this is completely base game compatible as this image shows you have different membership plans and the use of the gym is completely blocked until you pay either you can get a day pass or a membership there's a new gym services menu where you can purchase membership ask about day pass just like ask about all this stuff you can beg for free access which is funny the pricing will change based on lot traits so if you add the bracing breezes lot trait i believe that it will become a premium gym and so a member purchased on a lot with the bracing breezes trait is valid in all gyms whereas a membership purchased on a lot without the trait is only valid on lots that do not have it so that's really cool addition you also have a new app on the phone in case the receptionist doesn't show up which is 
is very much appreciated because sometimes with community lots bugs like that happen you can extend your membership for extra 7 14 or 28 days before it expires you can also set up an auto renew system you also will now have more choices when it comes to the trainer so you can ask for personalized advice or personalized workout tips and with that you can receive a bonus to help you reduce weight or gain muscle lastly with your celebrity sims there are two secret ways to get into the gym for free so as you guys can see on kayla's phone we now have this treadmill app called sim fit we do have to be in the gym for anything to work but basically purchase day pass gold plan platinum plan or silver plan let's go ahead and travel oh my god i forgot i placed down a new one and it actually has the bracing breezes lot tray <laughs> i didn't even realize so this is gonna cost more but it should actually let us into all the gyms let's see if a receptionist populates oh my god i forgot how much i love this <laughs> this gym lot i don't even remember placing it to be honest well now we can use all of this stuff and as you can see there's a little plus which i believe is because this is a premium gym i mean we have money let's go ahead and purchase the platinum plan okay that was almost two thousand dollars so just keep that in mind that was a lot of money i don't see any receptionist showing up now we can use all of the items over here we can complain about gym membership costs that's so funny Ooh, we can show off results of working out these are all new interactions actually you know what i want to do is can i cancel let me cancel it real quick because I wanna see how we can just not be able to use equipment. All right, our membership is canceled. We can still use the items even though our membership is canceled. So I don't know if our membership just like lasted a longer time or what. I came here with a different sim to a different gym as well, but now we can't use any of the equipment at all. We can't even use any of the showers because we don't have a membership. Let me see, okay, so let me test this again. I wanna go ahead and purchase a platinum plan and then cancel. It does let us use the equipment if we do that, which is potentially, I don't know if that is meant to happen because your membership will just like last for a few days after you cancel it, or if that's just like a glitch with the mod. Not sure. I really like that addition of having to buy a membership. Like that is a, a pretty realistic touch and the ability to kind of buy a membership based on your price point is also very, very realistic. With that, I'm going Going to go ahead and leave this mod review here i hope it was helpful i hope you guys enjoyed and found some fun new mods that you can add to your game as always use caution in modding your game but definitely comment any thoughts or opinions or anything you have to say down below i love it when you guys comment and i read all of them so please do also don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already also join the channel as a member to get access to member perks like a custom member badge custom member emotes and individual shout outs at the end of each video Video. And with that, guys, I will see Rue later. Bye, guys.